I know he's busy with his masters uh, in mining engineering. Cost to combine it, 92,500. Hey guys, welcome to the village. My name is Moni. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. Guys, today we are looking at uh, engineering, um, mechatronics, someone who did mechatronics, a, a mechanical fitter, uh, a mechanical, someone who works as an order, a processor, but they are a mechanical engineer graduate, a mining executive, there is a qualified actual. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a mix of things uh, in this video. But you know what? If you are someone who's interested in engineering, especially in mining, this video is definitely for you. Okay, so hi, Bonnie. I'm a 27-year-old um, residing in Johannesburg. I'm single. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I graduated in January 2022. I studied uh, at DUT and graduated with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. But they have like quite a, a lengthy story, but the basic salary here is 48,000 rands. And then there's something that is 540. And then benefits allowance, 12,000 rands. Total earnings is 60,717. Total deductions are 20,000 rands. And then a pay of 40,247. This guy was kind enough to share quite a lot of details uh, with me or uh, what they do with their company and what type of uh, things, skills that you need, okay? But I think I need to put it on the website for you, like in a form of a text. This is why we are launching a live reset with money.com this April. Look out for it. It's coming. I'm going to be doing such things right now let's move to this mining executive this guy did actuarial sciences um he, he passed but then i don't know <laughs> he just he was not interested afterwards so he just moved uh he was in banking for about four to five years the job was not fulfilling and i was already tired of hearing my dad say that i should have been an engineer so I'm so young here, yeah, started working at 22 just after my honors and I'm currently 29 years old. I had a decent salary even in banking, so it's definitely not the money that made me twitch. And dad is an engineer, so dad is like, you should have been an engineer, Wena. You should have been an engineer. So right now I know he's busy with his masters uh, in mining engineering. Cost to company, 92,500, okay. Deductions, 33,363. Net pay of 52,339. Okay, alrighty. But you know what? That's the beauty of Elon, the engineering. Engineering, in our opportunities are mining, guys. And um, yeah, this is the first time you want to do only mining engineering. I don't know about, yeah, guys, I've never like posted someone on the mining engineering uh yeah guys please don't forget to like and share this video okay let's go to someone who did mechatronics i've been sitting on this payslip from january because i was not sure if i meant to share it because they don't work in south africa and they left south africa a long time ago so it's not recent uh, they left south africa 15 years ago they've never worked in south africa uh, after studying, they did their studying in South Africa and then they moved to Australia. Hi, Bonnie. Love your videos. I'm a South African living in Australia. I work for one of the biggest mining companies in the world. I'm a mining systems project engineer. I work from home with flexi hours, very flexible. Some days are busy, some days are chilled. Where I go to the beach, play golf and shopping, etc. Okay. Here is my pay for week one. He did a trade in heavy duty electrical, then a degree in mechatronics engineering. Have been mining for 15 years and he's 32 years old. Okay, let's see his salary and then we're going to convert it to Amarande. Guys, this is weekly, okay? Yes, so period between 50 and 21 January 2024. 
total earnings 5730 uh which is uh, in australian uh, dollars okay and a pay of 3598 in australian dollars so roughly it's 44000 rands per week okay not per month i nearly fainted when i saw this amount i thought it was pay per month no it's per week and this person has 15 years of experience okay so yeah if it's 25,000 every six months that comes to about 300,000 rands i think it's good guys uh, i wish you can tell us uh, let me know if you want me to get some more information about um work moving to australia or if he knows any agencies or something okay i'll just ask him right now this mechanical fitter uh works in the united kingdom okay the reason i'm sharing this pay slip is because he shared some information about how he got the job i made a video on tiktok i just don't want to mention the name of the company on this video i don't want to link the pay slip to the company okay but I made a TikTok video where I spoke about how, which agency he used and how he got the job. I will link the TikTok video, okay? The TikTok uh, in the description box. That's where you're going to find it. Hi, Bonnie. Uh, I'm a qualified midwright uh, since 2004 and been working as a midwright uh, full-time until I lost my job in 2021. And then I found a low-paying job as a fitter in 2022. For a year, the law job made me uh, broaden my search abroad. Uh, I found a job as a fitter in August, uh, yeah, uh, 2023. This is my salary. Okay, it basic salary, I get is 3,519 uh, British pounds. Okay, which is 82,852. And then, uh, so total for that month is 164 thousand rands uh, he paid tax of about 2530 uh, british pounds which is around 59000 rands and in a pay of 104000 rands okay he's a mid right um yeah yo he's got uh, experience since 2004 <laughs> uh, how many experience I mean, is that not 20 years that's 20 years guys okay so he said it, it, he's happy it's not hectic it's quite flexible they work about uh it's a it's a shift pattern okay so four days in and four days off so it's a shift pattern on this job and yeah he says it's the best he's enjoying himself it's four days in and four days off uh which is quite nice uh he doesn't find it to be stressful and yeah um one hundred thousand in the uk I'm complaining, but I don't know how the village feels about it. He's based in Ireland, this guy, okay? He's based in Ireland. Um, 100,000 in the UK, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But rather than being around La Ungenziloto and like just really, I think it's okay. Uh, yeah check out that tiktok there I, where he shared the name of the company that uh, helped him but he says most people they just use linkedin they just use linkedin guys it's not rockets there's no secrets here well, um yeah guys i hope you found value please don't forget to like the video and look out for the website uh, life research with bonnie.com we are going to be converting our videos into text and also just produce more um why am i saying we because i am i work alone <laughs> i'm gonna have more interviews of people who don't want to be on camera okay yeah and some people don't want to be anonymous some of them they don't mind sharing who they are but yeah anyway hope you found value i'll see you on the next one bye bye